In. Ball start. Kind of need a head referee for this match. There we go. We've got them. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. Welcome to qualification match five here at the Tiffany Canoe event. The first 15 seconds. A reminder, the robots are pre-programmed. They have to be careful where they move, though, since they can still be penalized for moving incorrectly as we move out of the autonomous period. We have a brief pause, and the students will pick up their controllers and control the robots. 1646 making a big leap off of their charge station. They're allowed to make as much contact as they want with that piece during the autonomous period. 1024 kilobytes placing a cone on the high part of their grid, scoring five points for the team. It's five for the top, three for the bottom, and two, three for the middle, and two for the bottom. 7198TL, fearsome gears, making use of their human station to pick up a cone. It is difficult to pick up cones off the ground since they might be in weird orientations. About 100 seconds remain in the match. 4982 Olympus Robotics, after tossing one of their cargo pieces into the lower part of the grid, they're making their way back to the loading station, which is very similar to the charge station. Only teams of their color can enter their zones. Team 1646 also placing the cone or attempting to in their high grid. It has to be resting on the part of the grid that they're trying to score about a minute remaining in the match. The point gap is currently 82 to 83, but there are plenty of points to be made up during the end game period which will begin in a few moments from now. 69.56, that's Shamrock Botics. They're currently in red, but using great use of their green LEDs to indicate their status for their team drivers. That sound means we have entered the end game where teams can get additional points for balancing in their charge stations. Harrison Boyle Robotics at 17.47, already on their charge station. They will need to make it into a level position in order to scare more points for their teams. 49.82 attempting to get up there as well. They have 10 seconds remaining in this match to do so. Just contact enough is six points, but if it's level, it's more. Let's cut it down. Two, one, and that's the end of your match. Let's see your scores, qualification match five. And the winner is the Blue Alliance. Beating out the Red Alliance score 61. The Blue Alliance has a score of 128. Lots of points in their grid, moving their Alliance members into picking positions.